Hey, everybody. Hey, you know, Jimmy Carter is right. Those people who are opposing Obama, not all of them, but some of them, are doing so because they're racist. They don't like the fact that we have a black president. In fact, I'll go a step further than what Carter did, what he was saying, in that white nationalists, those who think white first and who are opposed to anybody who, and make fun of people who are black, are the ones who are slowly taking over the conservative wings of, wing of America. Yeah, think about it. Think, look at the past year and a half. We've had the email that was sent out with the watermelons in front of the White House. Or we had the photographs of the presidents, but Obama in blackface. Or how about the photograph of Obama as witch doctor, which came out very e recently. And go on and on and on. It's one thing to oppose a president, but it's another thing to make fun of a president's race. We've never had that happen in American history. So we have a massive problem here with, with the white nationalists, what I call the conservative or the Confederate flag waving conservatives. That's it. The, the, they wave the Confederate flag, drive it through. I saw this guy in Fayetteville, Georgia, driving his pickup through the parking lot of a shopping center with this huge Confederate flag, 8x8. Those are the types that I'm talking about. And I can't believe in the 21st century that we have this kind of crap going on, but we do. You know, I've come up with a list of what I call the, the top 10 dumb lines of Confederate flag-waving conservatives. These are things that have actually been said to me directly on, pl on a plane, for example. Number one, first time a conservative, I didn't ask. And I, I don't, I don't ask. They, they come out. Well, first I'm a conservative in the conversation. First, and I'm a conservative. Right? That's that's the first one. The second one is I believe in small government. I didn't ask that either. Three, we're in trouble because the wrong people got housing loans. Four, illegal aliens are taking over America. Five, Obama's socialist. Six, Obama's not American. Seven, Rush Limbaugh, Lou Dobbs, and Glenn Beck are right. Eight. There are good black people like Colin Powell. Nine, Asians are the model minority. Oh, brother. Ten, the Jews have our money. And that particularly riles me for four reasons. First, I didn't ask. Second, my last name is Abraham, okay? Third, when I'm on a plane, I'm trying to get some sleep and you're bugging me. And fourth, I've dated a lot of Jewish women. I don't like that. I've got a lot of friends who are Jewish. So my whole point is, and yeah, I'm part two. My whole point is, look, that it was completely wrong. So when you add all this up, what does it spell? It spells stupidity, massive stupidity. It, 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 but the simple fact is that this, this, it's a common line of thinking that's trumpeted all the time. I hear it every time I turn around. It's like they're the Borg, you know, from Star Trek, the next generation, uh, that they all had the Borg collective, and they were called the collective because they're all of one mind. Scary, which means that the American school system is in the crapper because we haven't taught critical thinking or, for that matter, rewarded it. That's sad. That's very sad, and it portends something very dangerous for our country in the future. What's the solution? We need to fix this economy, Mr. President, and, and sooner rather than later. We need to make sure that we have millions of manufacturing jobs for low-skilled Americans, like some of them, and we need to actually make certain that we take a $5,000 check that's given to every American with an income under $100,000, the taxpayer bailout, I call it. We need to fix this economy because some of this animosity is born of the fact that the people that are behaving this way are economically poor. And that's a real recipe for social unrest.